Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Annie. Today, uh, by request, we are going to be making spaghetti carbonara. The recipe or a recipe for carbonara is in the orange book and we'll also put it on the blog. And we're hoping that everybody is hanging in there and um, not getting too sick of cooking. Don't get too sick of cooking. It's really, it's really okay. It's going to be great. All right, so the first thing is we are going to take two, making this recipe for two, but you just times it by um, as much as you need. So it's going to be one slice of bacon per person, one egg per person. We're going to cook this bacon in the pan, and then we're going to add the garlic. So we'll let that cook for a tiny bit. In the meantime, we're going to crack two eggs into this bowl. And we're going to add some cheese to that. I'm not going to take it all because we're going to use some of that cheese for garnish. And we're going to mix it up um, with a fork standby. And We'll, this is what's going to get combined with the pasta. The cheese in with the eggs actually helps protect the eggs a little bit so that they don't turn into scrambled eggs, which is the whole point of this process. Super silky, lovely sauce around the, egg, the pasta, but not scrambled eggs. So once the bacon is done and the pasta has cooked and is ready to dump, I will be back with you. All right, so the pasta is done and it's steaming, right? So that's excellent. I'm going to pour it back into the pot. And the thing about right now is that you want this to go super quick. Um, you want to use the heat of the pan to cook the eggs and the cheese. So I'm going to put the bacon in with the garlic. The garlic and the bacon both are in this bowl. And then I'm going to put the cheese and the eggs in and um, stir it quick, right? So, you can see that it's coming together. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to stop moving my hands until I'm ready to pull it out of there. And then I'm going to just twirl it as it comes out. And so you can see what's excellent is you've got this really silky, super lovely sauce, right? The eggs are just barely cooked. Um, the bacon is still super crisp. If you want, you can do a little black pepper on here and a little bit of cheese for garnish and then a tiny bit of scallions. The end. All right, so everybody hang tight, stay safe, be kind. Uh, the recipe for this is going to be on the blog. It's been lovely as always to be thinking about you and to share a tiny bit of time with you. And um, until next time.